Hello. A common exercise in Algebra 2 is relating lines that are perpendicular or parallel to one another. Oftentimes what you'll see is you're given the equation of a line and you have to find another line that is either parallel or perpendicular to the given line passing through some different point. So this is really just one step removed from finding equations of lines that we did in previous lessons. All we have to do is first take a look at what we're studying. We have a line given to us, so we should find out everything we can about that line, and then see what is required in order to find the equation of the perpendicular to that line to the point. So, first thing I'm going to do is to graph that given line. Since the line is in standard form, I'm going to use the easiest solutions to find the x and y intercepts to graph. So I found that when x equals 0, y is 2 and 1 fifth, and when y equals 0, x is 5 and a half, which are my x and y intercepts or y and x intercepts anyway. So um, I get this line, oops, and that shows a decreasing line with a very small numbered slope. And then I could plot the point neg uh, three, negative five. And then all I do is I plop down a ruler and draw a line. It's just hand drawn. I just want to make it so this is as right an angle as I can just by eyeballing it. Now I can tell what I'm looking for is going to be a line whose slope is positive, much bigger than one, and the y-intercept is going to be down here in the negative realm, and you can actually use your scale to count down. It looks like it's somewhere between negative 12 and negative 13, so we'll see if we're right. So this, all of this work here, everything that I've done up to this point, is just understanding what it is I'm looking for. So this is not finding the equation of the line. This is finding out what the equation of the line should be based on the given information. Now comes the actual nuts and bolts work. I need to find the slope of the given line. Change in y over change in x. Now, the slope of the given line, easily found since we have our intercepts, we go down two and one fifth and over five and a half. And for fraction busters, just multiply top and bottom by 10. This gives us 22 negative. And then five and a half times 10 is gonna be 55, which is negative two fifths. So the slope of the given line is negative two fifths. The slope of the perpendicular, and here's the notation for that, slope, m is used for slope often and the upside down capital T for perpendicular. And if this given slope, negative two fifths, then the perpendicular slope will be reciprocated and opposite, so positive five halves will be that slope. Now that I have the slope and I have the point, I think I'm gonna use point slope form. We call it walk at home. So remember the idea is from here, I wanna take that point and walk it back to the origin, back three, up five. So I'm gonna go y plus five, equals 5 halves, that's my slope, times x minus 3. And the rest is just cosmetics, and I find the equation of the line perpendicular to the given line through the point 3, negative 5 should be this one right here. Now to check, it's really straightforward. You take the given line, you take your answer, and you take the point 3, negative 5, and you verify that the lines are perpendicular, that the scale's the same, they'll appear to be so, and that the, your line goes through the point 3, negative 5. So, if you compare that, graph against my graph. This was drawn by hand and this was drawn by technology. They look really, really accurate. So that's it. Thanks for watching.